Let's add a power pole connection to a ham radio. First, you're gonna need some power pole crimpers. Next, you're gonna need some tools that can both cut and strip wire for you. And if you decide to put a boot on, you're gonna need something to cut the end of the boot off. You're gonna need the power pole hardware, and depending upon the gauge of the wire, it ranges between 15 and 45 amp connections. Next, let's take the wire from our ham radio and cut off the DC connection off the end of it. This can be scary, but you're in a much better situation with power poles over that connector. We definitely don't need this where we're going. Next, let's take these wires and strip them down to bare conductors. One down, one to go. Now let's add the power pole conductor onto the end of the wire. You wanna make sure that you have the hook pointing down when you're doing it in the same orientation as I'm doing it. And you want the red on the right. So put it on, crimp it down into the correlating slot for the amperage of conductor that you're using. And let's repeat the process on the negative. Now an optional step you can also do is adding a solder joint to this. I typically don't find it uh, necessary for the things that I'm doing and the mechanical seems strong enough. Now this is where the optional boot comes into place. I don't always add these but they're good to have on there if you like that security. Literally just cut off the end and run the two conductors through it. It can be a little bit difficult to do if you don't do it beforehand. Now we want to put the housing onto the conductors. This can be a pain sometimes. You'll see I struggle with this just a little bit. It uh, sometimes can go on really easy and sometimes it takes a lot of force to get it on there but they'll go on eventually. And then you just want to give it a little tug to make sure it got on there right. And this one, you can see it went on way easier than the negative side. It just clicked right in. After you get them on there securely, you want to make sure that you put them together. There's a tongue and groove system on each side, and they just kind of slide and click together. And this is where the boot can help secure it. There's also a pin that you can put in as well. Um, I didn't have any to put them in, but there's a pen that will also hold them together so they don't slide apart. But the boot does this as well, and it does a pretty good job of it. And last but not least, let's give our uh, new Anderson power pole connection a test and turn on the radio. As you can see, working just fine. I hope this video helped you. This is John, KG7AJM73.